Well, Trifecta have one point so far. Can they get the three? We'll find out as we get ourselves into picks and bands now up against Allegiance, who could have some fun with this. And look, Trifecta towards the beginning of the summer split, I didn't know if they were a top three team in North America. Sure. They kind of faltered during the spring a little bit. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a top three in North America right now. They might be the best team in North America right now, just based on the eye test. This is a team that I, I think is going to go to DreamHack. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, I, this team is looking really, really strong to me right now. And it was just a matter of time until Sinosure got that god pool a little bit expanded. Everyone kind of meshed mm -hmm. together again. Snoopy's looking like an all a brand new player in that Hunter role. He's looked phenomenal. He's been dominant. Sinosure has been dominant. That's true. Kiki is still trying to get up to speed a little bit, I think, but is still doing his job well enough. Trifecta's really been impressing me as of late. Naja Isis so far. Illusion's taken their sweet time about this one. Having a good hot I think. I mean, their first pick. So they're just trying to take something that they're not going to first pick, but they don't want them to have as well. Same bands from Team Allegiance, Naja and the Morrigan, keeping it away from that mid-jungle combination from Trifecta. Isis still the only band from Trifecta so far. What do we expect in the Cyrus? Could be Osiris here, but you would see, yeah, it is going to be Osiris. Wasn't, wouldn't have been surprised if it was just some throwaway ban and then take the warrior that was uh, not taken. So, but it's going to be Soul here from Allegiance taking that away from Trifecta. And, and she's really risen, hasn't she? Let's be honest. She, really she, has. she died in the duo lane for a long time, and everyone's done. She's dead. We buffed the damage a little bit, and the next minute she's now a mid lane mage, not being played as an in hand hunter. It, it's not only the buff damage on the ultimate, the consecutive shots, but the sustain that she gets now, sure. even from putting one point into that first ability. That's what allows her to be so safe in that mid lane. Terra Susana for Trifecta. So a little bit of the old and some of the new taking a little bit of weakened jungle options there with the Susano, but rather than logged in, that could go to weaken in the jungle. I would assume so. This is a god that weaken plays very well. It fits his play style where he could play very aggressive and try and carry the game from it, or just be used as a setup god for his mid laner and his hunter. It fits his god pool perfectly. They'll also pick up Hoi as well. So Allegiance go for the double hunter come to an extent. However, Trifecta not really giving things up here. We're picking up Kronos for themselves. Clear to me that Trifecta has been watching a lot of European Europe. SPL. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, a lot of European SPL. I mean, look at what Sinosha has been playing. Naja, Sun Wukong, Jungle, what Ta Captain's Wake has been playing yep. on the side of Europe. Now Kronos, we don't know if that's going to be mid or in Hunter, but no one in NA is playing that. It's only been seen in Europe, I think. Oh, do we expect to see Kronos versus Hoagie in the lane matchup? That's a real question. I think that might be Kronos mid. Mm. I, that's what it feels like to me. I think Kronos uh, has some struggles in some certain lane matchups. Who Yi should be one, at least on paper, that would be able to find those solo kills early on against the Kronos. But we have also seen how safe Emilito can play that matchup. That's and true. just center to tower, wait until the mid to late game. Wouldn't be too surprised to see Snoopy, especially with how much he loves to play that soul still, being one of the only hunters who does so. Well, you may locked in for Allegiance. We don't see too much of just lately, at least over in North America. Europe even has dropped down in the amount of play of it so far this season, but it has a 100% win ratio. It's busted, dude. We got to nerf that. It's going to happen. 100%. It's going to always happen. And Amaterasu, the final pick, is a little bit flexible between the Ymir and Amaterasu for who could solo lane here because they can both support too. More than likely, though, it's Ymir's support. Yeah, I think, I don't know. I think that might be Ymir's solo. Reckon? No, it's Cyclone Spin. It's, it's probably, Cyclone. It's probably Amaterasu's solo. Yeah, I think so too. Look at the final pick for Trifecta. That is still flexible again, and they do have Snoopy. Yeah, they do. That's true. I was going to so, say, oh, I guess it's Kronos Hunter, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Snoopy could be bringing back the Vulcan ADC out of days of old. Bit risky, though, if you're doing this for funsies because you know you're against Allegiance and they're out because yes. you still have games on the line here. This is a serious comp from Trifecta. I agree with you. It is going to be the Vulcan ADC, though. I, I, well, I don't think that Trifecta is, throw, is trying to have too much fun here. Maybe a little bit of fun. They probably feel pretty confident that they're going to be making it, even if they don't find the second game victory. But oh, I, I nearly have had, to imagine. I nearly had flashbacks looking at this team running in the jungle. Then I was like, have they got Sprint? Have they got Sunder? Just let me know quick, because I'm not going through that again. It can't happen twice, surely. It's going to be OK. Oh. Take a breath. Oh, I panicked. I thought Cyclone was going to do drink. a repeat. I thought Cyclone was doing a repeat, and I'm like, no, I can't handle another one. It's going to be OK. Not again. There's only one Sunder on the side of Allegiance. There's also no Baskin and Bologna in this game, so we're OK. That's true. You know, there that's, was a, yeah. that's the benefit here. No sprints either, so you're you're fine. Well, Bumbus has dropped off in this game. There was four last game. Now there's only three for Allegiance. I, I think that Bumbus is good, but not a... Not uh, four good. Not four good. I think that's the way I feel about that. I mean, 
Clearly, teams have had success with it, but I think that you can make the argument that they would have Ooh. had success either way. Kiki taking a trade up against Allegiance here, who were proxy farming. That's going to put pressure onto the solo lane right now. Meanwhile, you can see Met Yankee was trying to do the speed on his own because he recognized that Trifecta would engage himself. He gets the babies, but he's going to lose the speed. We could see a full jungle trade here between the two on the right-hand side. I don't, I don't think Met Yankee was trying to full commit to that speed. He only wanted the minis there, just denying... Just just denying Trifecta level two, mm. at least until they had finished off that entire buff. Now Sino Show is going to be able to try and solo down that blue buff. Looks like he's going to go for it entirely. And Wicked is doing exactly the same thing on the other half of the map, picking up the speed buff from Sino Show's jungle. And now they'll probably both meet in the solo lane to pick up some farm themselves. Ymir and Ho Yi in the duo up against Terra Vulcan. Terra Vulcan sounds disgusting, actually, when you think about that in a duo lane. A lot of lockdown and a lot of damage follow up after that, but so, so does this Ymir. That wall oh, is perfect. Oh, you both the blocked. body block. Snoopy, you both he's going to fall blocked. here. Get out played. The damage from Neromar is Good to come through and pick up the kill on Snoopy and Oceans. Yonic wasn't fast enough to catch up to the second hit of that ricochet. Otherwise, it could have been more trouble for the dual lane of Trifecta. That's what you got to do against something like Vulcan ADC early on. Just pick something aggressive and punish it heavily. And Ymir Ho Yi... It's about as good as it gets in terms of aggression in the early game. The surround was the biggest thing there. Yeah. The wall was perfectly placed from Neromar, and the, both, the fact that one went to the right, one went to the left, and it made them kiss each other, which they couldn't move themselves because they were locked against each other. But they may have bit enough more than they can chew here. Neromar's tanking it up. Yonic's one hit from death. Neromar could be a casualty as Ocean dives in for the kill on Yonic, but Sinoshaw's here to clean up the pieces. And it's going to probably be a double here. I can't imagine Neoma's going to get out. The wall! Ocean's going to put himself in a bad spot. He fell quickly. Neoma trying to get out now. That slow oh, is Neoma gonna turn around and freeze, and he's still alive. He's just gonna sit down and hope Snoopy doesn't throw the meatball over the wall, but Snoopy won't. He'll go for the defense of Hurry, Hurry wind. wind. No. He doesn't get a kill. He's still alive. Just die. Just die. Oh my just god, Neoma is still No, he's gonna die. He's around. gonna die. Finally, Heroin finds him. The rewind's gonna get off, but Heroin is still in a bad spot here. Heroin's with no rewind, but man, Yankee's already level four, so doesn't have the supernova to come into play. Weekend has to fall back too. Snoopy with the mobility, able to chase down for a second. What did I watch? <laughs> How did you man live that long? Oh, that was close, man. I thought he was going to get out. Nilma's back felt like it took 10 years to go off. I mean, it really thought he, I really thought he was going to be able to get out. Matt Yankee, got to give shout-outs to him. That turnaround 180 stellar burst to make sure that his, jungle, or that his uh, support or no, it was weakened. I don't know. There were so many people there. <laughs> there had just, there. Someone lived because Matt Yankee hit a nice stellar burst. Ooh, That's my analysis. That was a nice ricochet from Oceans. Weakened wasn't really expecting that, so didn't have a chance to really follow up and get some extra damage off into Snoopy. Right-hand side, Allegiance are going to try and secure the Elementals and will do so. But those kills kind of went back and forth there. Yeah, Allegiance got the first blood in the lane, but it helped out Trifecta a little bit more in the mid and jungle. I mean, Oceans gets a kill and an assist, so mm. you know that Hunter's going to be a little bit ahead. And if I I'm Allegiance. I just want Oceans to get as big as possible and punish Snoopy over and over again in this lane. Neromar still level four. Not hit five just yet, just because of all the aggression over in the dual lane for the most part. Less farming, more fighting. That's what we like to see sometimes in the world of Smite. We can will pick up the red on the left-hand side and give it over towards Oceans. More fighting, less farming means that maybe Trifecta hasn't been watching that much EU SPL, where they True. don't fight for any reason ever, at least until 23 minutes. So who's got the mid-game? That's the real question here, because I'm looking at both comps, and I, I, I feel like Trifecta maybe mid-game's a little bit stronger. I think it might be Allegiance, because Amaterasu's so good in that mid-game, making right. that initial few rotations. Robin's still at the peak of his damage at that stage. That ultimate is going to start hitting pretty hard. That's when Met Yankee would start to become relevant, where Neoma still is, and Ocean's getting some power spike items. Hurrowind is the one. I think that both Vulcan and Kronos just suffer a little bit at that 17 to 18 minute mark. It really needs, they need another five minutes at that point to become real nightmares. We'll, we'll see if they can get past that point then, can Trifecta, and find the 2-0 here that they need for the three points. Allegiance are basically playing spoiler in this game now. They can put a lot of problems on the table for Trifecta. If Allegiance can find this second win, the, the win here actually, to force a split and make Trifecta sweat the rest of their day to see if they can make it to DreamHack. And, and like we mentioned, Allegiance, even though they're out, this is a team that has a lot of pride and I think that they do not want to fall 
here in this game. They want to make sure that they're getting as much good practice for the next split as possible. Well, for the time being, it's just farming now. As for all the aggression in the dual lane has subsided. Even though Weakens hanging around here to soak farm and maybe look to pick Snoopy, but Snoopy's playing it a lot safer after the beginning of the game and how much of a lead Ocean's got. And that's what Snoopy is used to. I mean, he's played his Vulcan ADC so many times. He's got to know whenever he can't afford to push up too far. And like we mentioned, Vulcan is one of those characters that I think that gets kind of overlooked in terms of insane late game mages. He's right there for my money with Scylla and Kronos, but it takes a little bit longer for him to get relevant. And so putting him in the Hunter role makes a lot of sense. That's guaranteed farm that sure. he's getting by himself, and he's going to get those items and get those levels a little bit sooner oh, than he would have mid got caught out of position here, rotating through to the mid lane and surrounded by three members of Trifecta. He's still alive, but only for moments time. The Bracer from Undoing helped him enough to get away. Hurry, Wing can't find the last hit again. The escapee, you may have never been able to say that so much. Hurry, Wind has been out of position though by overextending for the kill and gets punished. Cyclone made the rotation. Kiki's on the way as well, trying to find the kills as Met Yankee is trying to chase, get chased down, but Cyclone cleans up Sinosure, oh. and Allegiance get away with the two for nothing. If only this was game one is what the Allegiance fans are saying right now, because it's looking pretty good in the early stages. Gold Fury is available here, but not available yet with how low the health bars are. And you know what? It's not a coincidence that Allegiance is winning a game where they're playing loose. They're playing like they don't they're have... They're free. Exactly. Yeah. They're not playing scared, and that's not a coincidence. Let's I, think I, about it. Like, this, this is the same for all teams. It's even for you guys at home who play your ranked games, when you're in a promo game, you do panic a little bit and second guess yourself more than just enjoying the game and playing your normal game. Of course. And Allegiance probably had that issue. And to be fair, some of the players on Allegiance have had that issue in the past where nerves of the big game can hurt you. Uh, that's absolutely true. And it happens to the best of them. I mean, it really does. You just got to try and do your best to put that out of your mind and realize that this is like any other of the hundreds of thousands of Smite games you've played in the past. Unfortunately for Allegiance, it didn't go their way in game one. But do you reckon anyone's played 100,000 Smite games? Probably. One person's played 100,000? Come on. Maybe a lot of 10-minute arena surrenders. That could happen. The real... I, I don't think of arena rate surrenders, surrenders that much. Yeah, you're probably right. Maybe yeah. the... You know what? You know who probably surrenders a lot? Siege. You get, the, you get that Maybe. early invade in Siege, you control the enemy no. jungle, No. game over. And definitely not in Clash, because you'd be level 20 in seven minutes anyway. It doesn't matter what happens. And that's true. Oracles on the left go the way of Trifecta, so it's a nice little answer back to Allegiance's power so far in this set because that gold fury is definitely a threat that if allegiance do take this game could continue more deeply into their favor and it's just about extending that mid game power for allegiance and trying to keep trifecta down in that <laughs> instance i think gold fury certainly more important for trifecta but by allegiance taking one it would mean that trifecta is not so that's what's important never is just i don't know what he's done but he's tossed a lucky coin or something today because everything's just coming up his way. I just saw him like win the left hand harpy trade against the Kronos. It doesn't happen too often. Yeah, he's Ymir. But the amount of survivability he's had this set and I don't know how he's done it. I mean, remember, his Ymir at the God of the Land was phenomenal. I mean, he blew everyone away with his Ymir performance. You know he's comfortable on this god. Not a real surprise for me to see him have a, a, such a good performance. I actually think they were probably saving it for the land if they could and weren't going to plan on pulling it out. So people forgot about Neromar's Ymir. Bad news is, though, now they're not making land. I think that's the reason he's getting to play it now. They're like, okay, you can bring it out. No reason to hold our cards anymore. We can uh, we can play whatever we feel like playing. Use those secret compositions that you keep so tightly under wraps. Uh, no sense in holding those until the fall. This is a Gold Fury call from Allegiance. It looks like, or at least a bait. The bad news is they can't really bait this because the fact there's an Oracle War down at the Gold Fury. Trifecta will know they're not even attacking the Gold Fury just yet. But with five members now here, and Cyclone's going to catch the ward from Kiki that he was trying to teleport in on, meaning that Kiki won't be here just yet. We can get a jump on top of Snoopy right away. Terra's Blessing popped by Good Ionic. Damage. Try and get some get someone off of Snoopy, but no one's getting ALG off that Gold Fury. Allegiance get the Gold Fury and Snoopy's ultimate was a little bit late. He did a good job of surviving, though. Cyclone spins a little bit out of position now and juggled in the air nicely for Snoopy to get the kill with a meatball. Meanwhile, on the backside, Sinashore was creating a distraction, but he was a little bit too scared to continue. Naramar could be in trouble, though, when the Ymir is he's bravely running away. Great wall, but it just didn't last long enough. Neoma trying to escape with one HP again. again. The Bracer works. A perfect wall. The what? freeze on the Kiki. Finally, okay. Sido sure puts him down. Okay, he was like a raid boss again. I'm like, come on. This has yeah. got to die this time now. But Gold Fury going the way of Allegiance is exactly what they needed. The bad news is the casualties of war. Two members is you saw how deep they went in onto Snoopy. And Snoopy survived, which is very important for Trifecta. It was just one of those split up calls where we can say, okay, I'll take care of Snoopy. The rest of you can stay on gold. But by the time the gold was done, Trifecta had regrouped and started to take that fight 
pretty handily. Overall, I mean, you look at the golden experience. Gold went Allegiance's way. Tri trifecta, the better end of the experience difference. So it's basically a wash. For the most part, but he still benefits Trifecta, I'd say, just because of the experience gain that they got off that fight, too. The gold, I don't, I don't gold disagree with you. I mean, yeah. experience at this stage of the game, more important than gold. But sure. you see that the experience difference, negligible. Gold difference, negligible. So really, it doesn't matter that much at the end of the day who that gold fury went to. When Usually when you lose gold, get two kills, you, you're saying, okay, we, we went pretty even there. Well, now the 10 minute mark, Paul even has spawned. So there's an extra objective on the map, and we saw last set. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say last game trifecta. They did a very good job of taking Gold Fury into Portal Demon on cooldown to continue uh, continue to explore and gain that lead. It, it, just consistently looking for the objectives. And again, I think that trifecta has been, the, has been one of those teams that's been looking at what has made Europe so successful as of late. Mm -hmm. Their objective control is a big reason why. I think if you actually play the god pools that they play, hang on a second, Kiki's in a bit of trouble here, but we'll use the big baby form to get back to safety. Could be go time for Allegiance to the pool demon because of that. Kiki not having that ultimate certainly gives him a lot less safety. Cyclone Spin still having his means it'll be easier for their solo laner to penetrate the back line. No Snoopy here. Snoopy was pushing in dual lane, but Horrywind's waiting patiently in the mid lane to come in for this fight. But the pole demon's already down. So now the pressure is on from Horrywind onto Met Yankee, who's one hit from death, but Disapparate will keep him alive. As well as the Aegis, tell a lie! No, he died already! Snoopy comes in and hits Cyclone for a nice chunk of damage. But Oceans has taken out Kiki as Neromars hunted down by Sinoshore, and it's way more damage than he wanted to with Cyclone Spin wrapping around the back. But Oceans is so low. Heroin's going to be able to clean him up. That's the third kill for Trifecta in this engagement. That evens the kill total at seven. Again, Allegiance get an objective, but lose more members as a result. Yeah, but look at the right hand side too. Cyclone's going to get the tier one tower there and Trifecta trying to answer back the portal demon. Will get the tier one in mid lane. They're going to have to backdoor it. Weakens not interested in trying to defend this and rightly slow against three members. It's going to be very tricky. Very close in terms of overall damage between those two teams. And again, it's actually Allegiance who end up on top in gold and experience this time around. But well, by that's an after. That's entirely, before the tier one. That's true. But they got a tier one as well on the right true, hand side. That's so that's a wash as well. It's just that what's the di there's no real difference Lazy there. Lazy back from Trifecta and then they got picked off by Cyclone then. But with three members grouped up and nobody else around from Allegiance in time to secure or continue the aggression, we're back to an even game once more. Fire Giant is still available for either team, but at only 20 minutes in, it's too late to talk Fire Giant realistically. And if you're, again, this has got to be heartbreaking for an Allegiance fan because you see the potential this team oh, has. Yeah. Trifecta, as I mentioned, one of the best teams in North America right now. I don't think you can really contest against that. And Allegiance is right there with them and it's very clear that this team is also has that potential to be a top team in North America just fell a little bit short when it mattered most you know what sometimes these teams in the pro league that you'll class them as you know you're in the pro league but you're not a pro player and I, but I will say about Allegiance every member of this team you can say they are pro players these guys like, definitely yeah these guys definitely are a step above you know the the bottom end SPL teams and in, in these guys all have the, op the the capability to carry games. And I think that's when you start to really solidify yourself as a cut above the rest when any one of your members can go off and have a phenomenal game and carry it for you. Cyclone Spin trying to invade the speed buff here. Neromar coming to support, but Cyclone now surrounded by three members and the crushing walls do good work for Meonic. The knockup is good too to force Cyclone Spin to ultimate defensively and also get the ultimate there from Sinashore looking to try and pick off Cyclone a little bit more, but it's not enough. Kiki's still trying to run him down, however. But not enough move Movement speed to catch up to the Amaterasu. Now mid lane, Ocean and Snoopy have made the rotation. They're going to box it out a little bit here. Yeah, I just saw Snoopy's ult go off, and it was actually just to clear the wave to relieve the pressure that Ocean's had on that tier one tower, just to allow Trifecta to hold it, which is very important in the game, especially with Allegiance's tier one tower being on cooldown. And at this, in this point in the game, who cares about Snoopy's ultimate? It's still not doing sure. that much damage. In fact, a little interested in actually hold that thought. Weekend is going in onto Snoopy right now. Mm. Jumped on top of him with the ultimate. The Sunder came through as well. Snoopy still has both relics trying to get away the from mobility. the Allegiance jungler. The Vulcan's mobility is insane. Hit a god of an ability, you get a speed boost, and that's exactly what Snoopy needed to do. Met Yankee needs a speed boost right now to get away from Ionic, and the Suns will do that, creating a slow field. But Kiki now wraps around the back and finds Met Yankee. Attention paid, though, however, towards Neromar, who should be an easier pick, and will fall down eventually, thanks to the knockout from Kiki and the umbrella. Rank. We see Ymir's weaknesses rear their ugly head once more. Neoma looks like he's in a fine spot, and then all of a sudden he's just not because he's Ymir and Trifecta can chase him down pretty easily. Eight to seven now in the kills. Oceans will get one of these left hand harpies and juke out Hurry Wind for the second two. Trifecta on the right hand side will get those ones instead.
And I'm just keeping an eye on the builds. I love the Brawler's Beat Stick actually on Sino Show here. Just remove a little bit of the healing that is secretly hidden away in Allegiance's comp. There's plenty of, of small heals there for Allegiance's composition as we can actually Ooh. losing that trade pretty oh, no. heavily to Snoopy. You can already tell this Vulcan is starting to get ready to go. Can we actually take a look at what Snoopy's leveling? I'm curious as if he's even leveling that ultimate or if he's just putting the abilities into the other points. No, it is going to be yes. that ultimate. It's the it's the turret that is not getting any points. And that's what's not so cool sure. about Vulcan. You never know what the what the players are doing. So much flexibility with this god. I mean, obviously, backfire something you really want to max earlier if you can. Freeze onto Eonic there, though, but it's not going to slow them down yet. Side of Shot now grouping up, pulls two into the root from Eonic. It's going to get the beads out of Met Yankee. Nice, important beads there for Trifecta to find because the gold fury is available for both teams to contest. And just like Snoopy has started swinging in that Hunter roll. Hurrowind is going to start doing in the same on this Kronos in the mid lane. He's gone for the Warlock Sash. I was going to say, Warlocks. Very, yeah, very interesting. You don't usually see this out of Kronos players, but just a full commit to the late game. If you could get that Warlock Sash fully stacked, it's one of the best items you could possibly buy as a mid laner. It gives you everything you want. you got power, you've got health, you've got mana. Great. I want all three of those things, but it's difficult to get that going. It mm. takes a long time to stack up. We're 16 minutes in, and Heroin has like 20 stacks on him. He's 20% of the way there. I mean, to be fair, Heroin's one of those guys that has run the Book of Tough Warlock Sash before and people like Kokolka. He's not scared to pull out the double stacking. And he's one of the only ones that really favors this Warlock Sash. So it's not too surprising to see him with it. And when you actually look at Legends' comp, it's all about burst. So if he can survive the initial burst composition, get the rewind off, the health from the Warlock Sash will help him to do that. Without a doubt. I mean, if I, I would build Warlock Sash on literally every mage if I could. It's just a matter of getting away with it. And Heroin does a good job of staying safe, playing passive, Never only mind. engaging Fully in situations engaged like on, this. But the wall is good. Still Nevermar in trouble as the Bracer I'm doing didn't do too much thanks to the Brawler's Beat Stick out of Sinusure. Now with Nevermar being dead, Trifecta can just fall back to gold. That was just a quick engagement there. Trifecta found Neoma all all alone. Cyclone's been split pushing on the right hand side. He's going to get the tier two, but Trifecta going to get the Gold Fury in response. Kiki taking on three and it's going to allow his team to get the Gold Fury, but Kiki will fall down for this. However, now it's Allegiant slightly out of position because Trifecta's army is here and a fantastic ult from Met Yankee just wrapping around the boulder to pick up the kill. And Snoopy's looking for the cleanup after the Meeple. Ooh. That was so hot and I'm so oh. sad that didn't work. I thought it was going to. I really did. Still, the dive is on. Weak in an ocean's under pressure here under the tier one tower. Snoopy's going to get the meatball off on one. The backfire should clean him up too for the double kill for the hunter in the dual lane. He's playing a mage. If he would have knocked up Oceans to guarantee that, God, that over was, that the was wall. That was dope. Man, why did Oceans have to use Aegis there, man? What's the fun in that? Credit where it's due for the Aegis though. Credit where it's due to him for managing no, to realize. No, I wanted to see big damage numbers. It Hindu. was dope. It was dope. It was a great play from both of them. Sure. Come I on. Yeah, you're right. Come on. I mean, Snoopy's, Snoopy's presence of mind to be able to go meatball into ult, and if he hits, he's going to No, it's, it's ult into meatball. You throw the ult first, and then oh. you knock them into it with the meatball. Even better. Yeah, that's what I mean. Even better. It's so cool. Mage, do it, Mage is doing big damage numbers is what I live for, Hindu. Okay. I wanted to see it. I see. I live for underdogs winning games. That's what I do. And right now, at Class Allegiance as the underdogs, just because they lost the first game. Game two, though, they're down in gold again now, basically. Sorry, they're up in gold a little bit, I should say. Not by much, but it's still relatively even this game. Oh, God, I bet they wish this was game one. I tell you, I said yeah. that before. They're, feeling, they're playing so much better overall as a unit. They're being aggressive. They're not just sat there waiting for Trifecta to initiate on them. Exactly. They are being the aggressors. They're the one trying to dictate the pace. It's been Allegiance pulling gold furies. It's been Allegiance you know, ing aggressing on a Snoopy. It, you know, it obviously isn't going entirely their way. It's a very close game. Sure. They're down four kills, but certainly a different look than what we saw in game one. Well, level 14 for the duo in the mid lane from Allegiance. We can and Met Yankee. Meanwhile, Sinusure and Hurrywind, a better job of farming overall. 16 and 15, respectively, for them. Susano at 16, one of the highest levels in the game, just behind the solo laners. Isn't too bad of a situation to be in there. No, especially with three deaths. It really speaks to how well Sinusure has been farming, because you'd think that with how much farm he has, he wouldn't have spent a lot of time on that respawn, but tied for top deaths. They're looking to pick off Ionic here, at least get some damage off with that wall. But now this time is to go from Trifecta. The ultimate out of terror is popped early as we can dive to the bat line looking for Hurrywind. The ultimate only really hit onto Ionic, who can weather that storm quite happily. Sinusure trying to punish Robin a little bit as Cyclone stepped forward and gets CC, but the Thorns is buying him a bit of time to slow down and get his ultimate off. There's Snoopy's ult, not going to hit anybody who was close. Neoma gets pulled back in by Sinusure. Oh, but Yankee! Met Yankee 
drops it over the wall. Just snuck around the corner and gets the big old damage off for free. Kiki has to fall back in Big Baby, and Allegiance have a power play with the man advantage here. Not going to be able to hit that cellar burst. Just too He's quick holding. for that baby. But you're right. Allegiance have got that tower shredding composition, just like Trifecta had in game one. These objectives shouldn't last long between the two hunters. Still a little bit scared. Allegiance here to tank this up. Neromar's too low to really tank it, so he's been forced onto Oceans. The steel attempt looks at, and it is not going to go the way of Trifecta. Kiki and Snoopy and Sinashore, though, could collapse as Cyclone goes in on his own. But he's level 19, mm. even without an ultimate, even though it's coming up soon. Not a whole lot of danger for Allegiance and Soul Laner. When we saw just how much he was controlled of that last fight, and he still was able to get out of danger. That was with five people hitting him with all they, with all they had, basically. Great team fight Good from silence. Allegiance, but you're right. It all came down to Met Yankee fighting that explosion on the Hurwind over the wall. A couple of minions left here for the tier one to be able to fall down to Oceans. The Cyclone Spin will stun Ionic in place, but a nice knock-up coming out of Sinashore will slow down Allegiance, picking up Ionic. Immediately, he'll go towards Met Yankee and force him back too. Meanwhile, Kiki up against Bogodol Weekend, continuing the little trades in the jungle. Weekend's got a lot of pet in that build and can really handle Kiki fairly well with the build that he's gone for. Nice little ricochet coming out of Oceans, just... Oh, Sinashok gets a nice advance. pull off Yankee, and there's a Vulcan ultimate that hits only Neramar. Weekend was wrapping around the back and meets Snoopy once again. This is skirmishes upon skirmishes consistently, but no one really finding the lead. Chasing kills there for Trifecta. They don't find anything. In fact, they lose Ionic and Snoopy's ult for trying to continue to push forward. Now Snoopy might be in a bit of danger. Oh, Weekend looked away at the uh, exact wrong time. We've all been there. Oh, You're watching one happens. corner for five minutes. You the turn fight away. is on, though, and Weekend still trying to pick up Snoopy as Snoopy was trying to make sure the Oracles didn't both go the way of Allegiance, which they did. The Yannick can make sure Weekend does disappear and get a little bit of damage in return from Cyclone and the Oceans, but it's all fine for now. And this is, uh, this is what Allegiance wants to do now, is try and force these engagements, because Heroin still has not gotten a lot of stacks on that Warlock Sash. He has a little bit of pen now, but Snoopy hasn't quite found that big damage item. He's still waiting on some penetration from the Obsidian Shard. There's a good time for Allegiance to be fighting. If you are just tuning in for the first time today, this is North America's last day as we watch Kiki in a world of hurt here. Trifecta and looking for the 2-0 if they can find it against Allegiance, because if they do, they should be going to DreamHack. And Allegiance are trying to stop that from happening. Ocean's 1 HP, not going to be able to get out of there. Snoopy finds his fourth. Neoma pushing forward, finds a perfect wall, locking all of Trifecta in, but they wanted to be there. They're still winning the fight. Kiki picks up Weekend and Met Yankee's forced to use his Aegis. The Vulcan comes through, and Snoopy will connect. Met Yankee's dead, and the Ymir is no longer here as Snoopy yet again gets a double kill. Who needs Gold Fury? Trifecta, they Who want needs Fire Giant. Exactly. Who needs Hunters? We got magic damage out the wazoo. Trifecta. What's up with you? I don't know, but it's a saying, and I was just going to go with it. You what? should check that out before you say that again. Yeah, I think of like a like a like one of those it's musical rude. instruments. Like it might be. A kazoo. That's what I'm thinking. Cyclone about. Spin versus the world. Can he do it and steal the Fire Giant? 23 minutes in. Looking for the steal, but he's he not going to. Oh, what? He got it. What? He got it. How? The, There's the five of you. you. Oh my god, Penta! <laughs> it was Cyclone, it could be! I, for a second I was like, no way is he going to do that on his own. Now he's going to pay the price, but he's going to delay the game a little bit more. So, if you're a team that's doing Fire Giant and there's five of you and there's only one of the enemy team, what should you probably do there? Ooh, pick Answer's me. on a postcard pick, now. Pick me. I know the answer. Are you sure? I think so. Let's find out. Kill him! Stop doing the objective and kill them! I mean, do anything apart from just let him walk up and steal it. Does that mean I'm right? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't want to admit it. Yes! The part. With the Fire Giant going the way of Allegiance there, nobody gets the Fire Giant. The gold and experience from the Fire Giant does go to Allegiance. Now they're trying to capitalize on the Gold Fury because Trifecta invested so much into that Fire Giant. We get on the front line, need a lot more damage than he likes to. Forced to beads early on. The Vulcan Ult is in place, and boom, yet again, Snoopy gets another kill with his ult. What do you know? Vulcan hits late game, and all of a sudden, he is connecting with these ultimates. 8-1-8 eight, and eight for Snoopy. Top of the player damage charge. Win frozen in place, but it's Neremar taking the brunt of the damage. CC to high heaven yet again. He can't pick up a rewind alone. Meanwhile, Oceans is running from two, doing a grand old job of it, but it's too little too late. Kiki picks up the kill, and yet again, it's Trifecta at the Gold Fury. And this time, it's only Yankee in the area to try and stop him. No Cyclone Spin to seal this one away. Trifecta going to secure their second Gold Fury of the game. And this gold lead is still non-existent. 
It's non-existent. I mean, the experience, experience difference though. is pretty heavy in Trifecta's favor, but that's not going to be ma be relevant for that much longer. I mean, we're talking five minutes away from experience being irrelevant on either side. So, yeah, you're right. 25 minutes in. We, I think we're going to see late game with how this is going now. And I think that's the big key here is who's got the better late game. And you were mentioning earlier on, you know, like Kronos and Vulcan don't have the greatest of mid to late games, but their late game is very strong. Oh, I can't imagine a scarier two mages to be going up against. Maybe Kronos Scylla, but even then, Scylla, it's like if you juke the if you juke the Ivor monster, yes, you have to worry about Crush and Sikkim. They're insane. But those cooldowns are longer than Vulcan cooldowns. And Vulcan cooldowns hurt almost as much. They provide a little bit less CC but Vulcan Ultimate can do what I'm a monster can do, basically. Uh, Vulcan is terrifying in the late game, and, and we're there. I mean, he is almost to Rod of Tahuti. He's got five completed items. That Rod is going to be real scary. But don't count out Met Yankee on that soul and Oceans on the Ho Yi. They are both very, very strong in the late game in their own right. But Oceans has had some struggles in these in these team fights, man. I mean, he's got five deaths. A lot of the a lot of those kills coming in that laning phase in the early stages that's of the true, game. That's true. That's true. Oceans has been on the run throughout this entire mid to late game. I'm talking about him being on the run. It looks like he is investing into Fatalis next as an item, and I think that's one of the reasons he's doing that is because he's so worried about the pressure. Talk about pressure. Kiki's under it right now. He has to use his ultimate in response to Cyclone spins, but dazzling offense, one of the shortest cooldowns in the game, especially when you've got 30% CDR four cyclone spins so you got uh so you're gonna be okay in terms of trading those ults. Trifecta looking to fight here potentially as well remember they do have Ionic with the ultimate available from Terra that can come into play and allow them to chase down Allegiance a little bit more but Allegiance playing it safe and wise they avoid the damage and it's uh -oh. Kiki who's caught out Kiki's in the hell world of hurt can he get away in time no is the answer not too much invested from Allegiance there to find that killer Snoopy's trading up against Met Yankee. Gets his wing blade popped there by Met Yankee. Both players taking a good amount of damage, but Met, of course, has that Radiance, so he's not going to be low health for long. Pops it and immediately up to almost full HP, and with the Bancroft's lifesteal as well, should be okay. Kiki just not in the right spot. I mean, dashes into literally five members of Allegiance when he had just used his ultimate a couple seconds before. Full respect for Allegiance, though, really trying hard in this game, even though they are out of the running right now. It does put pressure onto Trifecta, and that's the thing. Trifecta are being forced to work hard for their spot if they want to find the win here. Allegiance are making it as difficult as possible. Don't forget Trifecta, not out by any stretch if they don't win this game, but they aren't guaranteed yeah. either. There are some scenarios where they would end Squeaky up missing time. Back. Valencia. That's what will happen for Trifecta if they do drop this game. Allegiance giving it their role so far. And in terms of map position right now, Allegiance are in a better spot. They've got more tier one towers standing. The objectives do matter because the Titan stays healthier and it also makes it more difficult to take those Phoenixes out. I'm not allowed to say Wazoo, but you can say Squeaky Bum Time. I was joking. You can say Wazoo. I just wanted to know if you knew what I meant, that's all. I don't. I just... You'll find out after cast, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I'm sure, sure I'll, I'm sure I'll have some tweets is. and I'll be like, oh my god, I said that? Maybe. Or maybe not. I mean, you say hoagie, so... Hoagie is the appropriate term for what it is. No, it's not. I think it's just your region. Yes. That says it. You're right. Which means it, it's not. Pittsburghers have the term. worst vocabulary as well, so you know what? I might actually have to hold that one. Keep no, I'm on sticking with it. There's an engagement coming out as the wall is dropped down, but the wall separates Kiki from the punch. He doesn't really care because he wants Oceans. Oceans gets a good ricochet off and has to use the Aegis to avoid the Vulcan ultimate coming out. Kiki's still pressuring them back as Cyclone on the left was keeping the other members of Trifecta busy, but still no one with an advantage just yet. Good wall again from Neoma. There's the freeze on to this Kiki. Good the full commit. There he goes. Oceans evens up his scoreline with his fifth kill. Sound of shock. Keeping three busy at the back as Weaken and Cyclone Spin trying to get deal with Hurry, Windy, Yonic, and Snoopy. But the damage mages at the back line of Trifecta are in a very healthy spot right now. All ultimates from both teams consumed in this space of about a minute. Careful because Allegiance can, of course, shred these objectives oh, very yeah. quickly between that soul and Hu Yi. They got the last one. Yeah, they sure did. And they only need one person to get the last one this time. Let's find out if they can get this one. But Yonic is caught in an awkward spot. The freeze is good and the burst is just too much for Yonic to handle. He's taken out. But Oceans ate a lot of damage from Horiwin there. And Weakens very low too and very low on Mana. It means they've just did enough Trifecta on the defense there to stop Allegiance taking the fire just yet. Snoopy finding the two-man backfire there was enough to put both Weaken and Oceans back to base. And so the Fire Giant does not go Allegiance's way. Trifecta still basically even. Horiwin is, is sitting second, to, second on the team in player damage, second in the game in player damage. But... I just haven't felt that impact quite yet 
from that Chronos. The CC has been pretty solid out of him. Those stuns have, have hit the mark on the Neoma consistently. But it's an expensive build that he's gone for. We're looking yes. at it here. Warlock Slash into Book of the Dead. I mean, they are expensive items in their own right. Next item is when he might start to really swing and destroy people, but it's a little bit of time off yet. Snoopy the focus once more. We get to find the root forces the Aegis out from Snoopy. Grail. Cyclone still continuing the chase. And there's a rerun out of Harry when it puts him in an awkward spot too. Buddy gets cooldowns back, so engages onto Cyclone spin. Sinoshore pulls in Cyclone as well, but Cyclone's so tanky at this stage, he's not really too worried. Met Yankee though was hanging around to support him and almost got himself in a tricky spot himself. Fire Giant finally let go by Team Allegiance. They've got five people here, everyone ready to go for Trifecta and Allegiance. Fire Giant pulled for a second, but the portal demon is respawning, as you just said there, Agro. And now at 30 minutes in, this is where things get dangerous between the teams. The later we go, one death, you're dead for almost a minute, and a minute in smite is a world of time. I kind of like what Neoma does. Pulls the Fire Giant, but takes a little bit too much damage because of it. Portal Demon gets leashed as well. Two-man stun from Ionic as Kiki's handling three on the left side. Big key is what Snoopy can do with the meatballs and the backfires and the Vulcan ultimates, which miss completely there. Neromar gets a three-man freeze, but Neromar's getting very low. The Sun's Emotions will help him out. Kiki's getting pressured by two Hunters at the same time here, and Kiki's on the run. They're trying to pick up the front line and will do so. Meanwhile, it's Weaken that was in the back line trying to do exactly the same thing as Kiki that will pay the iron price. But look at where Oceans is. He's got a great angle to this team fight. Ionic frozen. Guns find the double dash, but it's in the wrong side of the map. That wall Never makes more. Cyclone spin right. Reconsider. Well, Neoma just gets controlled by Hurwind. Yeah, just slightly out of position and Sinusure and Kronos just go, well, okay, let's just pick up this free kill. And now we've got a 3v4. Quick teleport back to base coming out from Ionic. But with Sinusha and Hurrywind still watching this, this could be close. It could be a fight just down to who gets the last hit. Hurrywind playing aggressive. It goes down and it does go Allegiance's his way. Cyclone pops the thorns just to make sure there's no full commit from Trifecta, even with Ionic's ultimate coming from that mid lane Terra. Either Brave way. Brave call from Allegiance. Yeah, that. it was. Brave call no because fear. against a Kronos and a Vulcan, that's a 50-50 that's a shot best. And again, do they do they do that in game one? Probably not. I mean, there, there's just I don't think there's a way that Allegiance has the confidence to do that with the way they played in game one, game two. Yes. They go for it and they end up getting it. Right. No stress. That's what you were saying before. Yep. It's the same sort of situation here. 22 to 13 now. Gold lead is slightly in Allegiance's favor. Experience, we're going all the way here. So expect level 20s eventually. But you can see how much of a fight this game has been yeah. when you see people like Met Yankee, who's a mid laner, and Oceans, who's a hunter. Not even level 20 yet at 32 minutes in the game. Well, Allegiance is going to get a little bit of extra golden experience for themselves. Gold Fury goes their way. So pause comes through, but the Allegiance just trying to finish off those big power spike items. Yep. That Gold Fury, they're clearly losing nothing on the right side of the map. Portal Demon was already down in their favor. Fire Giant with Cyclone and Neoma there. There's no way that Trifecta is going to be able to get that their way. So that's a nice, quick little Gold Fury for Trifecta to try and finish off those power items. Just remind you one more time, you tune in. It's the last day of North American Summer Split, and five teams were in contention coming into today to try and get themselves to Valencia. Four remain now after that game one where Allegiance did drop that, but Trifecta still in the running and looking to secure their spot. And it's a close one, man. Allegiance has had a great showing in this one. Trifecta Snoopy in particular has looked very strong, but his last few ultimates haven't quite hit the mark, and that's a big reason why Allegiance is still here. Snoopy is a, is a big key, sitting top of the player damage charts. He's got that full build. He's ready to go. Look at his score, like 9, 1, and 10. 19 kills he's been involved in in this game from the Hunter position. Yeah. Yes, it is a Vulcan, but he's from the Hunter position. And look how little magical defense Allegiance has on their roster. I mean, Neoma has point. no dedicated magical defense. No Heart Ward Amulet either. I'm very surprised no Heart Ward Amulet. When you think about the amount of magical damage you're going to be taking in this game, you should be picking one up. I mean, the aura, Heart Ward didn't get changed at all, just so people could play about auras. Heart Ward was fine, didn't yeah. get nerfed, and it's not been picked up. Surprising. And, and it was good then. It's good now. It would have been perfect here. I mean, Sinosher is doing plenty of damage as well, but look at the top two members in the game. It's Heroin and it's Snoopy. They both do magical damage. Also very surprised that we don't see a Shogun's Kasari on the side of Trifecta. Heroin's a little bit lacking in the attack speed department. He's gone for this power build instead. That's true. Red buff on the left-hand side. We'll go the way of Snoopy. Cyclone still trying to fight Snoopy and keep him busy, but ring around the roses and Cyclone finds out but he's a pocket right, full of poses. Fire Giant is already down to half HP. Weaken trying to create that front line zone as Ionic pops the ultimate. And Sinashore looking towards Weaken, who jumps in place to avoid the knockup from the whirlwind 
from Sinus Shaw, so comes out on top of that one. Neromar eats a lot of damage at only level 14, has to be very careful with himself now as he's starting to get that to that stage as a Ymir where you're a little bit further behind. You're not going to live as long, even with a full build. Three ultimates used, a bunch of relics. We can use both of his Sunder and his Purification Beads in Allegiance comes up empty-handed. I mean, Trifecta just does a great job of pushing forward, yes, but no real intention for the full commit without Snoopy there. Trifecta just need this 2-0 to get themselves to dream. I can just not have to care about the rest of the day, but Allegiance won't let that happen. In goes Neromar. He's more damage than he gives out. Kiki eats a lot of damage, too. He's forced to ball defensively up against Cyclone Spin, who's still working away in Hurrywind. Uh, and Oceans is once again oh. forced to Aegis because Snoopy's on the mark with his ultimate. So close, and Snoopy even without the ultimate, with the full build, full health, he's going to be doing plenty with that just regular three abilities. Try, nice attempt at poke by Met Yankee, but everyone is a little bit out of range with that Stellar Burst. At so this stage of the game, that Vulcan turret does come into a sixth man on the field for them. Stellar Burst coming out from Met Yankee there. Nice little poke onto Snoopy to slow them down. Freeze once again onto Yannick from Neromar, but Yannick's happy to eat those freezes if it means the rest of his team won't. That's what I was just about to say. Nilma's found some freezes recently, but it's always been onto Yannick, and I don't think he cares too much. It means that Snoopy's not getting frozen. It means that Hurrowind isn't getting frozen. Even Sinosh are not getting frozen. All three of those members after that extended engagement didn't use a relic. You think after the early game that Allegiance had with the couple of kills they got in the dual lane, things might have gone a little bit more beneficial for themselves, but we're back to an even game once more. Cyclone and Neromar engage onto Kiki, but Neromar's out of position now, and they're trying to collapse down onto Neromar and pick him up. Can't really get the ultimate off in time. Sinusho gets credit for the kill, and now Kiki zoning away two of the damage dealers as the front line from Allegiance are just trying to get back to support them as well. Trifecta can just let this go or keep it going. Weekend's actually going to go he in. in. Met Yankee finds Snoopy with that the super over the wall. Weekend manages to secure this for the team. Double kill for him as the damage deal is overextended. And now it's Kiki on the run. What a turnaround for Allegiance. Kiki trying to get away, silenced out by Cyclone Spin. He's going to kill himself by putting himself in this blue buff wall for die on the side of Trifecta because of a perfect turnaround. I don't think there was anyone on the map who thought that that was going to work out except Weekend and Met Yankee. Those two had no hesitation, dropped the ultimates right over the wall. Oceans was right there as well. What a call and the trust that Allegiance has in that call to turn and burn in that scenario ends up this, entirely in their favor. This is where they, I think that's where they thought their strength was last time in the first game where they could bleat out Trifecta to use enough abilities, enough ultimates and overextend and then punish them for it. The bad news is that wasn't paying off last game. This time it is. You saw the way Weak and the Cyclone Spin fell back, made it look that they were all running for the high heavens, and instead they went, ah, made you look, you came too deep, and now we can pay it back to you. I can't believe that works so well. My, my first thought when Weakened jumps in is this guy's fried. Yeah. Like, he is dead here, 100%. But the guys who were dead were Snoopy, Sinosure, Heroin, I mean, everybody. Neither Sino nor Snoopy even used a relic. They died before they got a chance. Heroin got the Aegis off, and that bought him another two seconds before he died to follow that up. Really impressive out of Allegiance. Well, now Allegiance will get the Polar Demon too. Gold Fury spawning in about 15 seconds' time. This Fire Giant will give him a substantial lead now because of the extra stuff they can get on the map. The Tier 2 Town on the left is the only one remaining here. Allegiance looking really solid. They've got a chance, man. T game 1 was all trifecta. Game 2 has been incredibly back and forth. 37 minutes in. I mean, 7k gold, 5k experience. I don't really care that Listen, much about either of those numbers. There's a famous saying that I made up. You're only as good as your last game. So as long as Allegiance win this, they're the better team than Trifecta. A famous saying that you made that up. That I made up, it's famous. Now are, you're only as good as your last game. Remember that. In anything you ever do, you're only as good as your last game. I think that I think that that's not your saying. I'm speaking out my wazoo. It's okay. Gold Fury is slowly dropping on this left hand side, but we'll go to Allegiance and now Tier 2 on the left can be looked at too. Thanks for getting in trouble with me for No saying. problem, I'll save you. I appreciate I'll that. I'll save you. It's okay. I mean, gold at this stage... It's not that bad. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. Gold, Fe gold Fury at this stage, again, I don't really care that much. I mean, Neoma needs his sixth item. Neoma needs... And Ionic needs some more levels as well, but that's going to come with time. Heroin not hitting level 20, much more concerning. The fact that he doesn't have Rod of Tahuti at 38 minutes. Trifecta really need that extra damage out of him. And it's one thing we didn't mention about Trifecta's comp, but they do like Tower Push. Realistically, they're kind of relying on Kronos to come online to really swing for the He towers. does enough. I, I don't... I, he, he does, does enough. 
so much. Yeah, he's got the best tower push in the game. I mean, I'm not I'm not worried about okay. their tower push if they get a kill. At least not wait till self off him because he's only got a tier one in the mid lane. No, they haven't found, they haven't won many fights that they haven't gone right to bigger objectives afterwards. They haven't had a chance to try and siege it down quite yet. Well, so talk about siege, and this is what Allegiance are looking to do now. They send Cyclone Spin to the mid lane to keep Kiki busy. And meanwhile, it's a four and four on the left. But the engages are really gonna come down to Nehru more more than anything with this sprint and the wall. No blink engages really available for them, but they also do have weak and able to just jump in like we saw in the last team fight. Sino, Heroin, Kiki, those guys have got to get some Aegis's on cooldown for Snoopy's ultimate to connect. He's had some good ones, but they've almost always been Aegis'd out. Walled off his Snoopy. Nerima was really looking to pin him before the backfire happened there. So Allegis will have to wait again, wait for the cooldowns to come available for Ymir to be able to look for it again, or just force Trifecta to leave the base for a second. But I don't think Trifecta is no. too keen on that idea. No reason to be. But Snoopy's a left alone. Go. And now immediately the engage was attempted. But he gets away just in time. The backfire hit enough to give him the mobility Ooh. to escape the freeze from Neremar. Cyclone going to tank it up and force the ultimate. As he only got very low. Hurry when rewind early. Vulcan ult with Snoopy missed completely. No, it hit Still, Met. though, the Phoenix is still standing. Met Yankees 1 HP Apologies. from Snoopy's ultimate. So now they now it's Allegiance on uh -oh. the run. Sino sure trying to chase down Neil Ma. The wall comes up. But it is going to stop the advance from Trifecta for the moment. Ultimate still available for Met Yankees and Neremar, however, but I don't think they're the best ultimates in the world to take on an attack on the Phoenixes here, so it looks like the Allegiance will fall back. This Fire Giant is only going to realistically get him a Gulp here in a tier 2 tap. That's what it looks like, man. This Fire Giant is going to fall off in the next 10 seconds, so already, work. yeah, Trifecta does a great job of defense. But maybe, just maybe, Trifecta don't well, fall for this against Allegiance because Allegiance look like they're coming back for one more time Ward. for a final siege. There's a couple wards there that Allegiance walked over, though. So even without Fire Giant, Allegiance feels comfortable enough to try and force this up. Heroin doesn't have his ultimate or his Aegis right Allegiance now. don't have any relics. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. no beads, beads available for Weaken and Aegis available for Oceans. But outside of that, there's nothing really left. Their opposition, however, a couple of more survivable items. A Cyclone dives in with the ultimate again, as does Weaken, Sinoshaw, and Hurrywind in a world of hurt. is still alive, but Hurrywind, meanwhile, has already been taken off the map. Snoopy had a good ultimate, but not good enough to find a kill quite yet. Weaken running for his life. He's, He's going to fall to the help of the Phoenix. Oh. Oceans is one hit from death to the meatball of Yankee was huge! And he needs one more hit to bring him down. Snoopy can't find it, has to ages the damage from Neremar, and then backfires to pick him up. Neremar will fall down next as Ionic now chase onto Cyclone Spin, and this could be a throw, boys, because look at those respawn timers. 50 plus seconds. Oceans has to run away with one HP. It's not a throw, it's a fire giant now. Yeah, this is fire giant for Trifecta, except Cyclone Spin's here. And he's alive, and he already did it once. I mean, I doubt Trifecta falls for the same trick twice, but you never know. Well, there's no wards on that right-hand side, but there is a tier one tower for Cyclone Spin to teleport to, and he'll probably be heading over there as quick as his legs can carry him. Nope, he's not going to teleport. He's going to manually walk over. And if that's the case, this is going to be gone before he even gets here. Trifecta going to secure their first fire giant of the game. Frenzy pop, just to make sure there's no doubt about this one. I think one. he needed TP then. If he TPs to tier one, he could potentially pull up a defense, but it's still rough. Maybe. I'd say it's, a, say it's a rough defense to try and defend it, but he did it last time against five. Uh, that's true. That's so. true. I mean, it's just the stakes are so much higher now. We're 40 plus minutes in, and that's so true. his respawn timer is going to be, you know, 60 seconds almost. And then you got to worry about Trifecta sieging it down if you don't get it and you die. I mean, there's plenty of variables. I think I like the idea from Cyclone Spin. I mean, clearly Trifecta can defend against the Fire Giant, so why can't Allegiance? The only player that's really standing out for me in this set because of just how this game's gone. Everyone's making small mistakes or great plays. Snoopy is the only one that seems to be consistently escaping the majority of the time, doing a good job of self-peeling for himself, getting peeled from his team, but also returning ridiculous amounts of damage. He's done great. I mean, almost 40k damage in 40 minutes. That's a crazy high number, and selling that Dynasty Plate Helm, going all in for the damage with the Divine Ruin, I like this idea. I mean, if I got told that I went to a game and I could do a thousand player damage a minute, I'd be a happy boy. Yeah, especially because you play support. I that'd be, some, that'd be, that'd be something. I'm playing Bacchus then, if that's the case. Yeah, seriously. The only one. You really could do a thousand damage a minute. I wouldn't be too crazy for that god, but look at this. Allegiance aside, they're going to push All right. instead of trying to defend this these towers. This is a good call, though, because the tier 1, tier 2 on the left, they can afford to lose it and get back to defend in time. And this makes a call for Trifecta. Do we base or do we push? And the call is base, which means Allegiance are buying time against Trifecta's Fire Giant buff. I think I like Heroin staying here. Yeah, this is the right call, I think, for Trifecta. He's still thinking about it. Just trying to get this tier 2. He's going to shred this super fast and be able to be a, a, an impact in this fight. Well, Neremar goes a little bit deep. Cyclone Spin going even deeper onto Snoopy to try and get pressure onto him once again. 
But Snoopy returns the favor, and the Bancroft's talent will sustain him back up. Now, Ramon's still well. going. It's a lot of damage. And yeah, you're right. Horrywind on the left hand side is looking for the Phoenix now. Sprint was popped just to try and get. Allegiance Armenians. away to Slimy. back, but it's not going to be in time. Heroin finds that one, no problem. Middle Phoenix maybe for him? No, he's going to return back to base with the rest of his team. Fire Giant, funny enough, Heroin's the only one without him. That's true, the one who could use it the most in that split push scenario. Could have potentially backdoored the tier two tower in mid if he had it, but I like his decision there. And Trifecta does a good job of not taking that bait, even with Cyclone Spin going really deep to try and find Snoopy, still did not go for the counter engage. Good patience and discipline from Trifecta to say, we're getting, we're getting the better end of this trade, almost no matter what. Just play it safe and less allegiance, try and full commit to the Phoenix. We just let them do whatever they want and allow Hurrowin to get the Phoenix. Definitely in that territory that not many teams end up going to very often. 44 minutes in this game, and this is where you really see the grit of a team most of the time because they don't get to experience this that often during scrims and even in the regular season. Going this deep in a game, there's a lot more variables that you don't normally take into account in the generally 30-minute games lengths. I mean, 45-minute scrims are, ju are are tough. I mean, no one wants to even get to that point in the game a lot of the time. So you're right. I mean, these teams don't have a lot of experience here probably. It. it is. It's very hard, and you just got to kind of trust that your team fights that worked at 20 minutes could potentially work at 40, but we all know how different those kind of team fights can be. Well, Akiki so tanky on the front side. He's going to be able to take a tier two with Trifecta and the rest of the Fire Giant buff, which hasn't got much more time remaining. And I think Trifecta would like that tier two in mid if they could get to it. Definitely taking the safer route, which is wise. Interesting that Heroin went for Winged Blade instead of Fatalis. I thought that was going to be his sixth item, but I felt went for the survivability too. instead, which I, I respect. I mean, well, he's going to be doing enough damage anyway. There's right? a hell of a lot of slows in Legions too. So yeah, yeah they're going to be a little bit worried. The Wolf from Neromo by a minute, and there goes Weakened diving in, looking to aggressive to Snoopy and Hurrywind. Hurry will rewind immediately, meaning that cooldown is not available anymore. Sun's raining down from Oceans to try and keep Kiki busy from diving the back line once more. Big Baby is used. Tier 2 tower still stands. Three ultimates on each side. The relics you both used by Yannick there, but no one else. On Trifecta needed to. Got him. Neoma control. That Mantle of Discord stun helping him out a lot, but not enough as Hurrywind finds his fifth. And now the Tier 2 tower falls down. Fire minions pouring down the left-hand side. And Allegiance, who are in control of this game, for certain moments and now having Trifecta beat down their Phoenixes. Two are now down, only one remaining. Trifecta so close to punching their ticket to DreamHack Valencia, but still playing it safe. Don't want to worry about those four members of Allegiance. I think that's the right call. A little bit surprised that they don't go for the right side Phoenix, though. I feel like going for the end, a little bit greedy. Right side Phoenix, even with the Yonic being kind of poked out, Herwin's sixth item Kronos. I mean, he's all the, that's as strong as he's ever going to get. It's not going to take long for that Phoenix to fall. I feel like Trifecta could have maybe broken the base a little bit harder there. It's so funny when you look at North America and the fact five teams came in today with a chance of going still. And I think at the start of this split, you were probably mentioning seven of those teams were in contention for trying to make it. That's how close it's been. Think about Eager, you know, Team AI now. Yeah. Like they were really high up there, which put pressure onto these two, but AI has just slipped up time and time again now. And Allegiance with how well they started off this yeah. split, I mean, they looked like they were a shoe in to make DreamHack, but... Schedules really matter, don't we? When you think do. about the schedules that you get randomly assigned of who you're going to play and which week, can dictate how your season's going to be, because if you drop games in the early season against teams that you would have beaten potentially later on or expected to beat, it comes back to haunt you so, so much. And sometimes it's the other way around, where you yeah. you know, you know have a tough start. I mean, look at what Soar did last split. They started off, what, 0-6 or something like that, and then came to the Gauntlet Land, won that, uh, or came in second place, moving on Here to Masters. Go. Here we go, the bait is set. Allegiance are waiting for Trifecta to walk around the corner. It's Kiki first, and in goes Weaken. Can't find the real onto Snoopy as the Aegis beats you straight away. Kiki bought enough time for Trifecta to reposition with the Fire Giant, and the engage is good. It's Cyclone who's in trouble. The Thorns are not going to keep him alive now as Yannick picks up the kill. Snoopy and Hurrywind unchecked in the back line here as Kiki did so much work, but that ult Ooh, from Yankee was huge. Big ult there. Snoopy's going to be forced back, as is Kiki. May Yankee get a fine Sino in that mid lane as well, and Allegiance find the good ambush out of the coming out of that jungle. One for one, jungler for solo lane, are both dead now for a good minute, but still the Phoenix on the left hand side, he's gonna fall, I don't think Oceans can stop that. He's trying his best, but not a lot of AOE, cannot find the defense, so now it's Trifecta trying to find this right side Phoenix as well, down to one HP. We can go in onto Kiki for a second, we can see Snoopy just hovering around on the bat lines here, on that Vulcan once more, the fire minions in mid, fire minions in left, and the Phoenix about to fall on this right-hand side. Last-ditch defense from Weaken and Neromar, but I don't think they can. 
can't quite weaken's gonna be able to get back towards his fountain but this phoenix does eventually fall matt yankee in a bad spot now trying to juke around to get that to separate off he got off. does get in the corporeal form but Buddy. snoopy's all hunting oh he got oceans instead that's how good snoopy's day's gone so far 30 to 19 trifecta are going to dreamhack really well played from both allegiance and trifecta it was just that these boys on Trifecta a little bit stronger Crazy. today. I mean, uh, if we play this set 10 times on 10 different days, we could have a, a split 5-5 five, five, right I down the middle. Yeah, I, I really I think that these teams are that close. Just Allegiance just didn't have it today. On the day, Trifecta were fantastic, and they deserve the 2-0 that they found here, especially after that game two, where Allegiance, they didn't have to play that well, let's be honest. They didn't no. have to, but they did. Uh, they did. I mean, they they absolutely killed it. Sinosure in particular had a really yep. strong set this time around. I mean, in that jungle, like I mentioned, he has expanded that god pool and has been looking really strong as of late. Yeah, a little bit quiet in game two, I'd say, on the Susano. He did his job overall, but didn't go off as well as he did in this game on the Ratatoska. I mean, in game two, he was near the top of the player damage charts for a long time. That just that that game went so late that, of course, he's going to get surpassed by characters sure. like Kronos and Vulcan. And now you see a couple more kills for him onto Sinoshaw. Works out well for him going forward, especially after you think about him transferring from console at the start of the year. Yeah. Joining the squad that everyone was excited about in spring, the love affair with this team kind of fell away at the end of spring, and now maybe it's coming back again. I mean, this team is definitely starting to, to gel nicely together. It took them a little bit. Spring split, I think they felt they underperformed. This time around, like I said, this is one of the best teams in North America now. It just took them a little bit to get going. Ionic and Snoopy look like the dual lane of old that we saw yeah. in the Cog Red days where they are dominating lane opponents. Snoopy can Vulcan. clearly play whatever he wants. I mean, look at the gods he's had the most success on recently. Vulcan and Apollo. Yep. What? What and year is it? Let's be honest, his, Vul his Vulcan work was great. I actually think the passive really came to play a lot more this time round than we've seen since the passive got changed onto Vulcan. From the Hunter position, being dived over and over again by these carries and being able to escape and then put out damage like that. Uh, he was just on point with these ultimates pretty consistently. There were a couple that whiffed, but that's what you expect from Vulcan ultimate. Sure. It's one of the less controllable mage ultimates, so you just kind of fire and forget and, and hope that it hits. Well, one team qualified. So far, Trifecta, there's two what? more spots still available today. We'll find out who is also going to be joining them at DreamHack Valencia to face off against Europe and the rest of the world after the break.